Macmore Construction, uh, we were developed back in July of 2013. It's named after my daughters, Mackenzie and Morgan. And uh, we, uh, you know, we, we, we are basically a heavy highway construction specialist, uh, along with doing uh, the site work side of things. Uh, basically, we have everything to do with the complete site excavation. So we'll do uh, clearing, grubbing, site work, and then all the utilities. You look at a job like this, and you see the shale that you know you think is is basically uh, two to three feet worth of shale, and then the next thing you know is your borings actually show you that you can go down eight, ten feet. So that's one of the the trickiest things with the site development side of things is the unknown. Uh, it's you know, but Again, we always look at ways that what we can do to better it for the owners, for that unknown, if you will. I mean, we try to keep as open line of communication with folks as we can. We don't try to hide anything. And we look at you know, different ways for owners to save money on projects and things like that, do some value engineering with them, and along with uh, meeting schedules and deadlines and, and basically doing whatever it takes to meet those schedules and deadlines. We've come to rely on these Case 850s. It'll be working in a cut to fill area. So if our scrapers are bringing dirt and dumping dirt, you know they'll, they'll push off the dirt for building pads. Uh, they'll fine grade those building pads. They'll fine grade the parking lots. They'll fine grade the stone. Um, so that's basically what we have them machines doing. Our machine control was something I wasn't 100% sure of at first. Um, you know, it's, it's you know, the evolution. Basically, we, you know, we see the market of how can we be more competitive with you know, uh, production on jobs and what have you. So it's led us to now go to the machine grade control. It's on the cost side as well. I mean, it, it takes us from having a surveyor out on the project putting in hundreds of stakes that have the potential of getting knocked over, which, you know, in essence, we always use a rule of thumb that each stake costs you about 75 bucks. So it doesn't take long, you know, if you knock over 100, I'm at 7,500 bucks quick. So, you know, to put the machine in control on it, that just, that takes that out of it also. Um, and then it allows, it takes the questions out of it of what it's supposed to look like, you know, and, and so guys can see it more with the screen and seeing what they've got going on there versus a guy putting in a bunch of grade stakes and actually seeing what you have going on in that area. You know, you look at the value of the machine here after X amount of years, and you look to, to, to spin out of it and go to a new one, it just, that makes that machine that much marketable for the next guy. There's the, you know, here's a machine, it's ready to go. That's, I think, the advantage of, of these dozers this way. But, you know, looking at production, like I said, and hitting schedules and deadlines, I mean, this is gonna come in handy for that side of things for us. I've seen no issue with this machine on any, any application we put it on, it does a great job. I mean, w whether you run a, a, a three to one or two to one slope with it, you know you're gonna hang on. Um, you know, when you're tracking in the ease of, you know, the, the, the ability to track in slopes and things with it, everything works very well on it that it doesn't give me any worries about that machine doing what it's supposed to do.